What's up guys? So today I thought it'd be fun to do a video talking about some tiny knives. And I don't mean small knives like the Dragonfly 2 or the Baby Banter, but I mean like actual micro knives. And let me know in the comments if you caught the reference in my thumbnail. And I've got a few new ones to unbox that are actually like really cool. Are these tiny knives always practical for everybody? No, but they're a lot of fun. Like if somebody asks to see your knife, you're like, oh, sure. Here you go. Got a little micro cleaver for you. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I do have a coupon code over at White Mountain Knives. Sharp AF saves you 10% off of most knives. So I'm going to start off with my favorite one on the table. My favorite one is this concept. And why is it my favorite? Well, they sent it to me for free. That's why it's my favorite. And Reich didn't even respond to my email, so I had to spend like a hundred and something bucks for that one. So, of course, the concept is my favorite. But even objectively, like, man, this is a fun, fun little knife. Where is it? Normally with a concept knife, you see the top of the knife sticking out there. And what is it? You'll never guess. It's another Corvid Mini. And why is the Corvid Mini my favorite? Well, look at it. It's freaking awesome. It's a little miniature cleaver. I mean, look at that and tell me it's not awesome. But if I could change one thing about it, I'd put some jimping on that flipper tap and not have it slope downward, even if it's so slightly. Um, but the main reason I like it is because the deployment is still pretty good. And that's one thing that sometimes kind of sucks on some tiny knives is that the detent isn't that great and the deployment can kind of suck. You don't have as much mass as you do on a giant blade to keep that blade swinging. This version is the black anodized titanium. I've also got a bronze anodized titanium. This is actually the one they sent me for free. I bought these other ones. Lightning Strike Anodized Titanium with a Damascus Blade. And then just plain old titanium. Alright, let's look at the next one. This is the Reich Hummingbird. This thing is insane. Comes with a cleaning cloth, kydex sheath, and chain. So you can have this be a little neck knife. Look at that thing. Whew. What's impressive about the right hummingbird is not the detent or the deployment, but just the extensive milling and attention to detail. Look at just how beautiful that is. All of the intricate details and milling. Very beautiful knife with an actual Damasteel blade, not just Damascus, Damasteel. Fancy stuff. It is insanely easy to fail this it's like that detent is so weak but i mean you can flip it it's a functional flipper it even has a lock bar insert and an over travel stop and a pocket clip i don't know who on earth is going to use a pocket clip on this teeny little knife and if you're somebody who freaking how do i get this in here not that way Now, if you are somebody who daily carries a right hummingbird in the neck sheath around your neck, let me know in the comments because I think we should be friends because you're freaking hilarious. Man, that is a cool looking knife. Now, is this little teeny thing worth 135 bucks? I don't know, guys. Like, seriously? I know people say like, oh, well, it's still very expensive to manufacture. Even if there's less material, you still have to do all this machining and shit. Man, there's like there's no way you can fill something this light and think that it should cost 135 bucks. Now, would you pay honestly, would you pay 135 bucks for this? Would you pay 100 bucks for this? Would you pay 75 bucks for this? Or 50 bucks? What would you what would be your limit on a knife this small but awesome? How much would you pay for that? 
I don't think most people are going to pay 135 bucks, which is the full price. Look at that. It's even the same size. Wow. Two scale. Before I get to the last one, let me show you a couple other small knives. This is another one from Concept. This is the Concept Rio. Uh, just came out a month or two ago. It's pretty cool. And this is the Kaiser Bay in the new Serape Mexican Blanket G10. And this one is only like 40 bucks. This is the Civivi Mini Elementum. I'm not sure where they get the name Mini Elementum from. It kind of reminds me of another Civivi knife, but I just can't put my finger on it. <laughs> so this is the Mini Elementum in copper. There's a copper version and a brass version. Out of all of these, at least this is priced somewhat fairly. I remember when this first came out, I did a video on it and I said how it was way too expensive for like 40 or 50 bucks. But then, you know, looking at this $135 knife or this $85 knife, like, okay, at least it's a fair price. The deployment on the Mini Elementum is a little bit better than the Hummingbird. You can still fail it pretty easily, but I'd say the detent is a little bit stronger than on the Hummingbird, but overall still. The Corvid Mini has the best detent and deployment action. What's the blade still on this one? Let's say S35VN Dama Steel, and I'm assuming this is Nitro V because that's what CVV has been using a lot lately. Does it say Savic 14C on the Mini Elementum? Oh, let's give you some more size comparisons with this Reich. Holy shit. <laughs> There's my thumbnail. Let's try and get pivot to pivot. Make it an accurate comparison. I have one more bonus knife to show you because this whole video is about tiny knives, right? But before I show you the bonus knife, let's do some weights real quick. I have to do it sideways so it fits on here. All right, the mini elementum. I have not looked, okay? I have not cheated. I mean, it's copper. It's got some weight to it. I'm going to say... I'm going to say 1.8 ounces. Oh, 1.4. Okay, the hummingbird. The hummingbird, I'm going to guess... Negative three ounces. Half an ounce. <laughs> oh, it's so light. How many grams is that? Oh, now it says 0.7. 18 grams. All right, and the Mini Corvid. Oh, is that heavier than the Mini Elementum? These two are about the same. I'm going to say this is a little heavier. I mean, it's beefier. Uh, I'm going to say, so that was 1.4, I'm going to say 1.6. Oh, 1.5. What's crazy though is that's not too far off of my Benchmade bug out. 1.8 ounces. This is a full-size Benchmade bug out. So this probably weighs like the same as the mini bug out. Why don't we see if any of them are sharp? Woo! Woo! Better than I thought. That's actually pretty good, Civivi. Okay. Cuts good for $42. What about a $135 Damasteel blade? All right. Nice. Okay, so they're sharp. Now, what about the Corvid? I'm a little worried about the Corvid because I like it so much. I hope it does okay. And a cleaver blade, I mean, that's not always the best for slicing. Oh, no. Oh, there we go.
I've got to say, guys, I think the, the edge isn't quite as good on the Corvette as it is on the others. It might just be I'm not getting a good angle on there. And it's a freaking cleaver. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's just not meant necessarily. Oh, there we go. Look, redemption. Redemption. Oh, no. Those were my pizza coupons. Damn it. All right, you guys. Last but not least, if I'm doing a video about tiny ass knives, it would not be complete without the tiny ass knife. The Chavez Tack Flipper. T A K stands for tiny ass knife. <whistles> Sexy looking knife. Beautiful grind lines. Focus! Beautiful grind lines, of course. Now, it's not really that small of a knife compared to these. It's a small knife. I'd call it a small knife. Here's the dragonfly. And the banter. So, this is a smallish knife, but it's not a micro knife like these guys. I mean, look at that. That could be another good thumbnail right there. Now, personally, I'm a big fan of the Chavez Ultramar line of knives made by Riot. Yes, they're made in China. They're not like his customs made in the USA, but it's an awesome production knife. Here's the Red Encion 229. Give you a size comparison for a full size knife. Another awesome Chavez knife. The Tack Flipper, I didn't realize, is actually a liner lock. A lot of these other guys are frame locks. Did this used to be a frame lock and then they made it a liner lock version, or has it always been a liner lock? Or maybe is it the production one that's a liner lock? So, if you guys had to pick one, would you pick the Concept Corvid Mini? And if so, which version? The right coming bird, but you have to wear it around your neck, even when you sleep. Or the Mini Elementum. If I had to pick one tiny knife, I'm going with the Corvid Mini with the black titanium. Awesome looking, good detent, a lot of fun factor, not quite as girly as the Hummingbird, no offense, and a little more unique and cool, I think, than the Elementum, but if you're going just for price, that's pretty solid too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching.